Hey everyone, welcome back to the CopQuest YouTube channel. My name is David, I'm the manager of agency sales, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to add extra security features to your Safari Land duty holsters. So stay tuned and let's check it out. Let's talk about the hood guard and what it is and what it's meant to do. So hood guards are actually gonna come on your level one and level three duty holsters. So your level ones are gonna have ALS only, that's automatic locking system. And then your level threes are gonna have ALS SLS, so automatic locking system and self-locking system. If you're interested in learning more about those, we do have videos that are gonna be linked down below. So you can check out those in more depth. Um, as far as what the hood guard is, it is this piece of plastic here and its entire purpose is to help deter frontal takeaways. So let's pretend I'm wearing this holster on my right side. Someone is coming from the camera towards here, trying to snag my weapon. They're gonna have a hard time getting in here to release any of the mechanisms so that they can take my firearm away from me. Whereas if you don't have a hood guard, such as this holster here, if someone were to come up, they could easily push down and then strip me of my firearm a lot easier. So that is the purpose of what a hood guard is. Some people don't like it and they will remove it, but that is uh, entirely up to them and perfectly fine if they want to. Now, going from here, there's a couple of options that you can do. The hood guard itself, if you broke or lost your hood guard that was on your holster and you want to replace it, you can get that piece by itself. If you want to add more security to your holster and up the retention level for a ALS SLS holster from a level three to a level four, you can add this piece, which is called a sentry guard. And uh, I'll show you how that works in a moment. If you want to have both of the hood guard and the sentry guard, you're in luck. It comes in one piece, already molded, ready to go, and waiting to be put onto your holster. The way that works, so I actually have one on this holster here. So inserted and the ALS system has locked it in. We're gonna pull the SLS back and it's secure. And then the sentry guard is this nub right here. It's gonna push forward. Now your ALS, I'm sorry, your SLS is prevented from moving forward. So even if somehow someone gets in here and is pushing away, they're not gonna get it until they push that nub back. Oh, see, I'm having trouble with it because it's not meant to be actuated from the front. So you'll have to push it back, forward, and there. And that is how you're able to draw your fire. And this, my friends, is a level four duty holster by Safari Land standards. The reason I broke the ALS and, and um, ALS SLS hood guards into two separate groups is because they are slightly different from each other. Even though they are named the same and look relatively the same, they are different part numbers and uh, we'll link all that stuff down below. Uh, but so the reason I wanted to show you, so here is a level one ALS only duty holster. And so you have just a hood guard on here. So if someone can come up and try and access your retention device, but they're not going to unless you want them to. Now you can replace this if it breaks or if you want to add one, and that would be right here, your ALS hood guard only. If you want to add a, another level of retention and turn this level one holster into a level two holster, what you can do is add a ALS sentry guard. So that's this piece. Then if you wanna have both the hood guard and the sentry guard for the ALS together, you guessed it, it's together all in one piece. So I'm gonna show you how to take this ALS hood guard and sentry guard and put it onto this holster real quick. So what you're gonna do, take your Allen key that's included with all of your hardware and loosen it up. And then we're gonna take our ALS SLS hood guard, line up the holes, and then replace the screws. There. 
normally I'm pretty quick at this, but when all of you are watching me, I get a little nervous. So, a little, little humor. All right, there we are. Tighten this down. There we go. So now, this is a level two holster. And so the reason for that is you have your hood guard up here, which doesn't actually add into your retention level, but you have a sentry guard here. So the way this one works, because the ALS uh, nub, you push back. This one, you push forward to expose the ALS, and then you're able to draw, and then opposite to put it back. So someone's gonna come in here, try and steal your firearm. They're not going to be able to unless they pull this forward, push back, and then pull your firearm out. And so that is the complete lineup of hood guards and sentry guards for Safari Land duty holsters. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our quick informational video on how to add extra security features to your Safari Land duty holster. If you would, like, subscribe, and hit those notification bells because we love putting out great content for you. We recently reached 1,000 subscribers, so I'd like to say thank you to all of you. So be safe and talk to you next time.